Now, new at 11, police were called after a local father took his handgun into a popular trampoline park. They say the man did not break the law, though. Channel 2's Carl Willis live in Roswell. Some parents are questioning the father's uh, move here. Well, right now, there is no sign on the door saying that you can't bring a gun into the sky zone that's always packed with kids, but some parents disagree with his dad's decision to do so. Police called out to the Sky Zone Indoor Trampoline Park in Roswell. The general manager reported that a man brought his handgun inside and proceeded to jump on the trampolines with a gun in his holster. With kids there? Yep. No. Unacceptable. It was 2 o'clock on a Sunday afternoon, and the manager says the police were called in when the man refused to store his weapon in his car. I guess the guy uh, felt that since there wasn't no sign up, uh, uh, that he could carry his gun in there. That's exactly what the man told me when I visited his home Friday. He says he keeps his gun with him at all times to protect his children, even when he's napping. He says the business does not have a no weapon sign posted and that he has a concealed carry permit. I have a permit too, but I wouldn't carry it in there. Roswell police say it's up to individual businesses to post if they don't want guns inside. They say the man who we are not naming was within his rights. The way the laws are now, I suppose he was. I don't think it was a wise decision on his part. And the gun could have fell out and then went off and then shot somebody. Some customers say just because someone can bring a weapon here doesn't necessarily mean they should. I think that there is no reason to have a gun in a place where there's kids and definitely no reason to have a gun while you're jumping. I think just there's a certain amount of awareness that people need to have whenever they go and get these permits and that should be taught as well. Well, the manager says this was a rare occasion and tells me he does not plan on posting signs prohibiting guns. Reporting live in Roswell, Carl Willis, Channel 2 Action News, Nightbeat.